In this short video, I just wanted to quickly talk about the workflow that I mostly recommend for people using WP Pusher. And this is relevant to you if you have a staging environment. And I always recommend having a staging environment for your websites because it allows you to test the changes that you make before you push them to the live site. And as we just saw, the push to deploy feature is a really powerful feature that always keeps your code in sync with the, the current version. The thing is that if you have this feature enabled on a production site, what happens if someone pushes a bug to GitHub that you didn't test yet? Then it's just going to be immediately updated on the production side. So that's why normally the workflow I recommend is that you, of course, work locally and you test everything. And then you have a staging environment and that's where you have the push to deploy enabled. So while you are developing and you're adding new features, along the way you can keep testing it on the staging environment. And ideally, the staging environment is very similar to the production environment. The only difference is probably going to be the URL and the content that's on there. So you can check everything in a very realistic environment. And then as soon as you confirm that everything worked on the staging environment, you go to the production side and you then manually click update plugin. And in some cases, it can be totally fine to have push to deploy enabled on a live side. And if it's just smaller client projects and you know for sure that everything works because you tested it locally etc it can be fine but for a little bit larger projects i always recommend having a staging environment and then you can use push to deploy there and if you want to use push to deploy on the production side the workflow i recommend is that you use a another branch for development. So if on GitHub you have a branch called, let's say, development, that's the branch that you always uh, push to, and you have push to deploy enabled on the staging side for the development branch, then as soon as you have seen that everything worked on the staging side, you can merge the development branch with your master branch, and then you can have WP Pusher and its push to deploy feature to automatically deploy to the production side as well. But if you have push to deploy uh, enabled on production, I'd recommend that you have several branches so that you know for sure that it's already tested and it's good to go. So this was just a few thoughts about how you can have a nice workflow with a staging environment and a production environment when you use WP Pusher. And it's gonna be all for this video. So thanks for watching. Bye, bye, no, 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 no.